Right, it's time to go up Ingleborough. Up in front of me is a regular Dave. Go at your own pace on these walks. Well, we've made it up to the top of Ingleborough. Are you enjoying the views, Dave? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Desolate, I would say. And we haven't seen anyone for quite a while. There's uh, one runner and two ladies walking the dogs earlier. And apart from that, that's been it. So we'll go and find somewhere to stop over on the east side of the summit plateau and hopefully that will uh, keep us a little bit sheltered from the, the westerly winds that are coming in tonight. Got some water now back at the tent. Oh, a bit of a trek, I bet I've done a bit of a mile now and I'll bet fun get that and anyway, we're back. So as you can see, weather cleared up. And tonight, I mean what is very much a summer tent. It's the first time it's been out used in anger. I mean, used it in the garden. But it's a Kelte Horizon 2. And what it's got is this section here rolls back from there, rolls all the way over the top, and you've just got a mesh top so you can look at the stars. Yeah, I don't think I'll be getting full use of it out tonight. So we'll see if it's waterproof. We don't got a, a great hydrostatic air, I think it's only something like 1800. And I'm sure it's enough for the drizzle that we're coping with tonight. And once I get in, I'll, I'm sure I can mop up if I need to. Uh, I've still to empty my bag and everything. But uh, irregular Dave, he's all tucked up in his sleeping bag already, morning about being cowed. He's in his fancy, what is it? Force 10 helium 2. First time I've seen it in use, it's a good looking tent, is that? Well, finally unpacked. I'm going to have 10 minutes just laying down, stretching out. Then I'm going to make myself some tea. Oh, yeah. There's there, he's a chip's eat. And fancy base for it that I bought him as a present. Cheers. He's too tight to buy it himself. Yeah, I'm not tight, I'm not skint anymore. Oh, there you go. It's uh, that time of day. Well, I'm truly not skint. But, uh, first one of them are leaving. Man on a rock pointing at things. That's just team still out. Team's not there. There seems to be some heavy clouds that aren't moving and some lighter ones that are being blown around. There we go. Oh, that's come back again. That was blue sky a moment ago. Hey, this chair. I think I got that on video, Dave. <laughs> what did you have for tea, Dave? Uh, I'm going to go last. Any good? All right. Okay. The boil in the bag, wasn't it? Yep. A uh, wayfarer. Yeah. Good. Uh, I'll have a chilly later. Separate tents, don't want to be around goulash and chilli. It was worth all the effort for that, weren't it? Yeah, yeah come on, let's go uh, take us beer to trig. By the time we get there and back, it might be snowing. <laughs>
fill up with that. And we've got some deep reds now in the clouds. I've been spoilt. And I am. Look at that. Espresso martini. There'll be some singing and dancing later. But for now, I love you and leave you. But look, the moon! Dave's tent! My tent! We've got beer. Oh, we haven't got any light, have we? Should we have some light? Right, we'll have one last look around where we're pitched tonight before I uh, get into the tent for the final time. I think it's pushing 11 o'clock now. Wind's properly picked up. Uh, I'm not sure which way will shield it best for the same, but. Night night, Dave! Just having a wonder. Oh, sorry, tripped over your guy line there. That's going in the film. So is that. Yeah, improves going down well. It's about hmm, six ish, maybe just gone six now. Got a lovely cloud inversion below us. Didn't get much of a sunrise, it was just there all of a sudden. No great colours. Not sure if my compadre is up and about yet. Did hear him once. It's a too brief type of morning. Well, I think we've reached that point in the morning where we start packing up. It's a uh, decent breeze up here, so hopefully the tent will dry out. It's misty and moist all night. Well, we're in the clouds again. Today I don't seem to want to make up its mind. Halfway through packing up. But general chaos is going on in here right now. Let's see how Dave's doing. Surprisingly little swearing. Just before I drop the tent on, a quick walk around, have a look at it and got some thoughts on it. It's very sturdy, I'll give it its due. Absolutely no chance of it collapsing. It's uh, much steadier than, than I, I expected. But not made for anything other than dry summer use. It's, uh, it's wet. It's not soaked through, it's not a sponge, but it's uh, it's definitely wet in there, so it will only be on when I, when I know there's very much dry night. But uh, something a bit different, not a lot of them about. I think when I bought this, it was only two for sale anywhere, and it's not one that's made anymore. So I'll get it dropped down and get it in the bag will be off. Ah, we've just got those bags to pick up now. Obviously we've left no trace. Everything's nice and tidy, isn't it Dave? Yeah. It certainly is. And uh, well, yeah. We'll just walk it in the clouds for a bit. journey down here but we can see the path that we're taking now I think 
farmhouse in the distance. Here's where the, the path split when we're on the way up. From there, it's about a mile, mile and a quarter back to where the van is. Probably, I don't know, three quarters of a mile from that. Maybe a bit more, maybe a mile. Anyway, let's get off this hill and go and have some breakfast somewhere. Yesterday, when we were walking up here, we never really got to see any of this, and it's quite beautiful. A little stream into a little dip there. And some, I, I assume, the sort of limestone crags going on there. It's very nice. It's lovely. Right, we're about a mile the van now. We've got a great view of the Summit Plateau from here. Obviously there were none of this yesterday and there's a couple of handily placed benches down there now. Farm track down to uh, back in to Ingleton now and then we'll sort of get in some a second breakfast.